what's up? It is Couch Potato Mike back in the kitchen. I lost my fez, but bow ties are cool. So tonight we are making low carb keto cabbage soup. Now what we're going to need, you're going to need about two pounds of ground beef. You're going to be browning that. You're going to need about a fourth of an onion chopped up. You're going to need a head of cabbage chopped up, which I've already done here. You're going to need some cumin. You're going to need some bouillon cubes, beef bouillon specifically. Uh, and a couple other things that we will discuss as we go along. So why don't we just get right into this. I'm already browning the beef. As you can see, it's still pink. But once that's browner, I'll let you know. Okay, now that our beef is pretty much browned here, what we're going to do, we're going to come over here and get a, about a fourth of an onion. You're going to cut that up nicely. Just put that right in there with the beef and finish cooking. And you're going to want to cook that onion and the beef until the onion is translucent. That means you can kind of see through it, but not really. It's not going to be like a window. Get back in the damn pan. But you know what I'm cooking. Not really opaque. Halfway between opaque and transparent. That's where you want your onion to be. I mean it. You know, it's probably a good thing that I'm not wearing the fez. I keep cutting my own head off. Okay, I have ground the beef. The onions are translucent, so we're now going to transfer the contents of this pan into a stock pot. I've already got it on that same burner there. And once we get all the beef and onions, into the stock pot. Okay. To that, I am going to add uh, the mixture that's in this bowl, which is one uh, teaspoon of cumin, uh, one uh, clove of minced garlic, or half of a tablespoon of minced garlic, and uh, four bouillon cubes, or about two teaspoons of bouillon powder if you're using that instead. To that, I am going to add one can of diced chilies and uh, tomatoes, also known as Rotel. I'm going to add our chopped up cabbage. And we are then going to add four cups of water to that pot. Two cups. And another two cups. A little bit more because it spilled some. Alright. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. Love of God, though, do not forget to mix this thoroughly before bringing it to a boil. Okay, now we have mixed this thoroughly. I am currently bringing this to a boil, like I said a minute ago. Once it hits boil, we're going to bring it down to a simmer, and we're going to let it simmer for about 45 minutes or so. You can stir occasionally on that. I need a taller tripod, yo. I'm actually using a tripod instead of my sun tripod for this, because... This, I know where it's going to point. He's, he, he'll point the camera at my butt. He'll point it at my foot. He won't follow the action. I have to bang on stuff. He's a good kid. Love him to death. But, uh, yeah. How you doing over there, Tripod? Good. Yeah, see, he's taking a break. He's over there playing one of those uh, trading card games, like uh, Uno or Skippo. Or, uh, I, think it, I think it's like the... The Japanese version of Cabbage Patch Kids or something like that. I don't know. One of those. He's sitting over there playing that with, uh, with, uh, uh, with Tater Todd and uh, their cousin Todoroki. So. He cheated the first round, so he got disqualified. This is what I live with, folks. So I but, won. Uh, yeah. Like I said, bring this to a boil. Are you boiling it? It's getting there. There's bubbles. You bring it to a boil. And simmer for the next 45 minutes after that. And then you've got a wonderful bowl of cabbage soup. Now, I like to add in a kick of cayenne. I just, you know, threw in a pinch in there. An Italian pinch, you know. Not just an American pinch. That's just a little bit. You throw an Italian pinch in there. 
You ever been pinched by an Italian? You could end up at the ER. Anyway, so 45 minutes after it boils, you're good to go. Remember to take it down to simmer, though. And we'll be back when we have this in a nice bowl, ready for the lovely Mrs. Potato Head to try this out. See you then. See you then. Okay, I told you the next time you'd see me is when the lovely Mrs. Couch Potato, or uh, Mrs. Potato Head, sorry, <laughs> is back. And now she has a bowl of this delicious low-carb keto cabbage soup. What do you think, huh? It's really, really good. It's really, really hot, y'all. Well, she likes it. Yes. I love, I love his food. It's so yummy. It's got spices in it. Yeah, put a little kick of cayenne in there. That's my favorite thing to do is, you know, put a little cayenne in there. Just a little kick. <laughs> I was about to say a little cayenne. bam of cayenne, but I don't need emerald on my ass. <laughs> so, uh, all right, yeah, so I'm going to let her... Uh, Enjoy my dinner because now, it's delicious. Now, one thing, uh, no, two things, actually. You know, this is good by itself. I like to add a little bit of shredded cheese and a little and a dollop of sour cream to mine. So do I because it cools it down so you can eat it. Yep. So uh, we're just going to dig right in. So uh, for the Couch Potato Mike YouTube channel, this is Couch Potato Mike and... Mrs. Couch Potato Mike. Potato Head. Potato Head. Whatever. Mrs. Potato Head. Mrs. Potato Head. Yeah, I like that one. Yep. yep. Saying, uh, cow saying, uh, hell, I forgot my damn line. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't oh, yeah. forget to subscribe. Yep. Hit the bell icon. And a thumbs up, please. Yep. And if you have any other ideas for keto recipes you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below. So, uh, yeah. And if you try our recipes, leave us a comment and let us know what you think of the meal. Any of them. Any of them. Any of them. And you can leave them all on whatever the most current video is. Don't care. Yep, don't don't care. matter. All right. So uh, this is Couch Potato Mike saying life is an experiment. Your results may vary. <laughs>